welcome back to my channel in this particular part 4 of pyrex vina tutorial we are going to see how we are going to run autodoc vina simulation through pyrex so now let us uh, start uh, seeing the pyrex gui so these are the prepared protein and ligands now we are going to see how we are going to run autodoc vina simulation for which we should go to vina wizard and we are going to start by clicking this start button here no ligands selected so we are about to start selecting our ligands Click control in your keyboard and start selecting all the ligands now here you can see four ligands selected and the protein was already selected that is 6y3c underscore clean dot pdbqt is already selected so once our ligands and proteins are selected we are going to go for forward and this is really very crucial step as of now in my tutorial i am going to show you the blind docking so for which i am going to select the entire protein by clicking on these dots if you are very sure that you are uh, confident that your ligands are going to bind at a particular area then you can select this particular grid box to that particular area for example like this if i think that my ligands are going to select or bind at this particular area i can go with this particular area if not you can select the entire uh, molecule uh, and we can proceed with the blind docking so in order to reduce the burden of my pc and uh, to complete this uh, tutorial in a short i have selected this particular small area so that i can uh, run this vena wizard very easily so now after selecting this particular uh, area of the grid you can see here uh, option run vena I am going to click on this run Vina option now. By clicking here, you can see the command line has been generated automatically, which I have mentioned in my part one, where I have discussed about the advantages of Pyrex. Here you can see the docking of first ligand is being running, finished. The second ligand has been started it's running by seeing the star marks you can guess how much percentage of the uh, work has been uh, completed once this reaches 100 here we can see a dialog finished and the second that is the next one third uh, will start running So if you can observe we didn't prepare any uh, command file or any other uh, files by simply selecting everything the file will be generated automatically by pyrex itself and which is uh, one more advantage of using pyrex for talking multiple ligands using vena now we are going through the last selected ligands and here you can see clearly if we are using this particular pyrex uh, they are asking us to uh, do a citation of this particular 
article so uh, giving a credit of uh, something is very essential please do cite this particular article if you are using this and now the autodoc vina has completed its run and you can see the binding affinities of uh, uh, the selected uh, protein with the ligands in order to see these results you are about to click on the fourth one save as comma separated values that is csv if you click on this you should save this with the name results and if you click on save which means that we have completed running autodoc vina simulation for the selected protein and four ligands and the results that is the docking scores have been saved into your folder with the name excel with results so now let us try to see our folder so after completing this particular autodoc vina simulation in our working folder we can see the results which we have saved along with these we can see three more folders which are automatically generated in macromolecules you can see the folder and you can also see the output of each and every run what we are doing here and in ligands you can see the energy minimized and prepared ligands and you can see extra information which were used by our pyrex so by the end of this tutorial part 4 you should be able to find all these things in your working folder in the next part of this particular pyrex vina tutorial that is part 5 we are going to see how we are going to analyze the results for this particular result analysis we are again going to uh, utilize discovery studio visualizer if you like the content of this video please do like comment share and subscribe our channel thank you for watching my video